What is up, my guys? So, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to post this Saturday, but I am. Because luckily, I have a very good friend who would like to join me in this experience. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> she doesn't feel comfortable showing herself on the camera. Um, so, we're just going to do hands for this episode. So, yeah. So, as you can see here, we're doing a character design challenge with my very messy handwriting. So, um, she's gonna bring up some stuff on Pinterest, and I'm gonna have to draw a character with all of this attributes, including hair, which is style, type, and color, the outfit, the jewelry, the nails, the eye color, and the skin color. The skin color can literally be, like, pink, yellow, beige, brown, anything. <laughs> Alright, so round one is hair. So, she's going to come up with the result for us in a second. Ooh, okay, okay. So that's our hair color. So we got that. That's going to be a really complicated style, but I hope I can do it justice. All right, round two is outfit. So Peyton, pick an outfit for us. By the way, outfit consists of like shirt, pants, slash skirt, slash shorts, or whatever. Or like a dress and the shoes. And any other additional thingies you want to add. Ooh, that's fire! That is amazing! Okay, that's going to be complicated to draw. But I hope I can draw it because this outfit is amazing. You're going to do well because you have to. Dang. <laughs> Alright, outfit. Check. Next round is... A jewelry, yeah! Jewelry being necklaces, rings, bracelets, earrings, you know, hair pieces, whatever you want to add. More or less, doesn't matter. Alright, so she chose these for some earrings, and it's a little bitey bitey snake on her ear, and I love it. We also got some additional hoops on the cartilage, and more like up here, and we got some like nice hoops right here. Alright, so jewelry, a Next round is nails. That's pretty self-explanatory. Stiletto, square-shaped coffin, whatever you want. Whatever color, whatever length. Anything goes. Hold on, I got to eat my golden fishies. Yeah, let's get it. All right, nails. All right, now we have eye color. Can be any color. The whole rainbow is at your disposal. She has chosen green eyes. But she has decided to give our character heterochromia. So, um, uh, heterochromia is like this. It's basically where you have two different colors, um, on each eye, or you can have two different colors in one eye. But in this case, it's two different colors in two different eyes. Yeah, that <clears throat> that's the example of heterochromia we're going for today. And what colors are they going to be? Just the ones in the picture? Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go not with green, but blue and amber slash gold. So that's the amber slash gold. Blue, I'm pretty sure you know what colors are. Unless you're colorblind. And in that case, sorry. Alright, now the last, last category we're gonna go for is skin color this literally can be any color you want it could be the color of this goldfish bag it could be the color of my my hero academia pencil case it could be the color of my freaking pen it could be the color of this coffee table the bananas natural or unnatural that is the question all right she has gone with this color. We have chosen the color of paper, which is just white, like a, like, like this, like that, like the snow you, you Arizonians have never seen. Oh, by the way, we're just eating goldfish from my pencil case now. A beautiful performance. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, you should be an actress. That scene with your hand grabbing the goldfish was emotionally beautiful. Like, I just can't. Thank you. I tried. But never mind the goldfish. We must create. 
with the prompts that our lovely goldfish stealer has chosen for us. So onto a new page, we will create the head. I just put my camera on my pencil case and oh my gosh, it created such a pretty color. All right, so we have created the head and I want it to be big enough so that we can still show the earrings and all of the nice hair swoopies, but we can also display a lot of the outfit and the shoes. She gonna be a little short. Oh yeah, she has to look up makeup. Let's get some makeup on this woman. By the way, you don't need makeup to look beautiful. You're beautiful, honey. We're just doing it because it's colorful and fun. Yo, we got the Queen Hwasa! And her makeup look. Gorgeous. We love Hwasa, we stand Hwasa, and we need Hwasa, okay? And in honor of Hwasa, I'm gonna make her a sassy little bee. And her facial expression is just gonna be like... Okay. Not like that, not as ugly as me, but you get the idea. It's like, ugh. ugh. All right, now let's get that ugh on her. We finally got a bull, people. Ugh, yes, disgusted, I love it. And guess who she is disgusted by? All of the people who don't think you're absolutely wonderful and beautiful just the way you are. She's inspirational, and she loves everybody who loves everybody. She be over here just like, you're just jealous because I have an amazing person and you don't. Now let's get on to hair. Now we somehow gotta find a way to put this onto that. So we'll just, wow. Oh, and now she has a body. Well, half of a body. <laughs> now let's get a body on her so that we can make her outfit. All right, so. I know that her head is big compared to her body, but that's because it's chibi style. I also didn't know how to fit everything in to the same page without, like, you know, not showing her shoes just a little bit. So, without further ado, let's get on with the outfit. Alright, so we're gonna put that on that. So let's just... Let's go. She got her sweats on. She got some extra chunky shoes to make her extra tall because it's about her nose, but really she's beautiful. I don't know. I like to make personalities up for people. She got that turtleneck. She got that, she got that storage, you know, she, she, she got everything, you know, she thriving. She got her beanie with the brand no with extra O's. And her hair just flying in the wind, like, oh my gosh. And finally, time to do an artist's most dreaded thing. Hands. Hands. As you can see, I have uh, constructed a simple blob, which will then be turned into fingers, which need to have nails on them. <laughs> so yeah, just, eat, we, yeah, imagine that. Yeah, and now we're gonna turn it into a hand. It still looks horrible, but if you look far away, it isn't that bad, maybe? Let's just go with it. I ain't doing any nails. I'm sorry, but those those are going to be way too hard for me to draw. I don't think I'm having a very good art day today. So, yeah. Proportions off. Head way too large. Outfit Trivago. My cousin picked some good choices, I just didn't draw it well. But yeah, now everything is pretty much color, and that's what we're gonna do with the li <coughs> the lining of this piece. So, everybody say the magic words. Lipstick and my family seen a white bag! Alright, so we got the hair done. I think it looks good compared to the picture, and I also got the beanie. Uh, all good. Let me just add L line. Mm -hmm. Ah yes, there we go, much better. And now we're gonna move on to L face. Alrighty, now time to draw the earring. Alright, that's all I'm gonna do for now, but stay tuned for part two. I will be filming it on a plane, so yee. Yeah.